Hello, welcome back to the Social Retail Manager webinar. For if those of you just joining us, we basically just uh, finished going over the the main menu and some of the features. We're going to delve a little bit into the customers screens and uh, all the things and features that are offered. Um, simply, let's try to find a customer by just clicking Find the Customer, of course. Now you'll notice when it first comes up here, it um, has all the fields showing, they're empty, meaning that we could basically do a find um, by the customer's first name, their last name, um, email address, address, city, etc. So we could pull them all up. For this demonstration, though, we've created a, a sample customer here, so we're just going to hit enter because um, since nothing will find, it'll automatically go to list view, and there we could pick and choose one here or create a brand new customer if they don't exist. So let's go ahead and select this, and you can see, like I said, we just put in some basic information. So let's uh, go over some of the features here. Of course, you can um, always, you know, get the customer if they have a company. Um, if they're in a specific department, um, their first name and last name, what type of customer this um, happens to be, um, where did the lead come from, so where they hear your marketing. Now, all the screens that you see here that have drop in, or, or I'm sorry, drop menus, um, always have a little edit, so you can literally go in and customize it um, to your preference. So we've got the basic information, just like everyone else here. Um, if you have a a rent to own or you do financing of course you can track it over here of what their credit limits are um, again if they're a, a designer and they have a resale number we can enter that as well um, their phone of course extra little stuff here um, always want to get the email address of course and uh, their address now interesting you're going to see a little thing here um, that says web information Primarily what this is used for is you can automatically assign for those uh, specific customers like I mentioned earlier, designers and, and whatnot that might be having large orders that uh, you know constantly require updating. You can assign them a username and password um, so that from, their, from your existing website or a website you're getting, um, you can plug that in so they can uh, check on the status of their orders, etc. without having to call in and type your lines. So this is basically the overall view screen of just getting the basic information for the customer. Now from the menu you can see here by just simply clicking a button we could just create a brand new customer. Um, we can go to list view and find. Now we've added a couple things in here to make it real, in, uh, real easy. Um, some of you don't know that the iPad as well as the iPhone and all the other stuff out there um, you could put Skype on. Now Skype is a nice little feature. I don't want to get too much information on this but by simply clicking dial number through the computer we're using here without any extra effort of dialing a phone number um, the system can literally just call the customer up and uh, go right into it. Um, one of the things I like to mention the, with the iPad here on this demonstration is not only can I call using the iPad but as well as with Skype it actually can record the entire phone call so for those of you dealing with maybe a customer who's uh, ordering over the phone and you're taking down the fabric um, information you can go back on the recording and listen to that as well if there was a problem with the order you can go back and send the customer the recording showing that uh, you indeed ordered exactly what they were or they're asking for so again anytime you see a dial number old-fashioned way you could enter the number in yourself on your phone um, but if you want to take advantage of uh, this new VoIP that um, is very inexpensive again just click here it'll call it right through Skype um, a new action basically and we're going to get to that screen everything you do with your customer should be tracked um, from an email from a letter from even a phone call you always need to track and, and keep track of all the conversations you're having um, even if you're in a store where maybe there's only one or two employees um, you always want to have notations of what you're saying because you know of course later on you could go back and review those um, use them for sales training tools as well as some service issues um, creating a quote is very easy click a button to create a quote we're gonna get more into that um, the quote system again is very powerful for you um, some of you dealers that primarily will have uh, customers call you from time to time and ask for pricing and whatnot rather than just write out you know just on a piece of paper and you never see them a, a possible be back it's better to record it in the system that way you can do automatic email campaigns and follow up and again try to make more sales lastly delete the customer um, you need to be into a management mode deleting here will also warn you you're going to delete the customer now 
the system does back itself up um, every 30 seconds as well as most of the customer invoicing and, and stuff it literally keeps um, kind of a, a record of that so we try not to permanently get rid of things if we if we really don't have to so with customers and stuff uh, I can't again imagine you wanting to delete entirely out of the system but it is there you know if you do need that now we got some tabs up here at the top every window you're gonna see additional interaction so on this one we got more information now on the more information sometimes at least me and uh, some of the dealers have asked they need extra places to quote information as like birthdays anniversaries or um, you know special promotion numbers etc we've left you enough space here that you can literally come in here create a custom tab and uh, and just assign that information just for general tracking but since this is the social retail manager one thing we really always want to make sure is we're tracking um, the customers not only their email but trying to get them to you know follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter um, some of these accounts these social accounts go by email address so if you did already ask the customer what their email address is um, over here you can use the L which is the lookup and um, when you're sitting there looking face to face hopefully they have an updated picture that you can recognize but um, if the email address is in here and you look it up you can literally find their account right there and uh, you know send them a little quick message asking them to follow you um, you know back and forth so anyways that's your uh, their social and viral information now sometimes and I'm not saying always but sometimes you might be dealing with uh, somebody who works for a company or somebody um, you know that might have you know family and friends or something associated this will easily tell you if any of your customers in the system might be linked through a phone number an address an email address or something similar um, that way you could kind of like you know see if you have any uh, um, other relations um, that are in the system here's the customers history and again we've put some information in here just for the uh, the demonstration purpose but from one screen you can see every invoice you've wrote every payment um, everything you've shipped any customer service issues any phone calls messages or anything they've left all again from one screen very simple to use um, now hopefully you never have to even get to this screen but again like I said this is this is furniture from time to time you will run into problems um, we've included a complete customer service package in the customer service package here it's very simple for you to very quickly um, to go through look up what the invoice number the model number serial numbers right off of the uh, product you can pull up the purchase order um, and, and look that way through the invoices um, you can very easily assign a tech if you don't have a tech um, hitting search or ask will automate that process for you um, you can order parts very easy um, so you can get those in track the parts that are coming back print out chargebacks basically everything you knew on a day-to-day -day basis to really help you now one of the features of this is when you're doing this if this was covered of course by uh, the manufacturers for parts and etc when you're doing your purchase order this will alert you if you have any open credits so that way you could take advantage of that so that's the uh, the service now earlier I'm um, in the uh, in this uh, webinar we talked about the customer retention and there's a kind of a two part to that the tab we're going to next is their customer retention now in here you would basically just enter any kind of script you would like your uh, possible employees or whoever's going to be actually calling the customer you know um, how was you know this is such and such from you know ABC furniture just want to call and follow up on how everything went now on the right hand side is the questionnaire you set up of what's relevant and important to you meaning that um, from this drop down list maybe you would like to rate how uh, the delivery went or how your prices were so from here you can very easily change that and rate it from a scale of one to ten and have them go down now there's a reason for this more important than uh, most people realize uh, back when um in the furniture industry that um, when i was uh, running my own store I would always have sales associates fill out little thank you cards um, as soon as the delivery was, you know, delivery was made or the sale was done. This way, what you have is kind of a twofold thing, and let me explain what I mean. If, when you're doing your questionnaire, um, you find out that you have very low ranking, let's say in the delivery, the pricing, etc., what the system will do then is, you know, again through a predetermined time frame, 
it will take the date of the questionnaire and 30 days later send a little email um, saying to the customer hey this is ABC furniture um, we just want to let you know we got a brand new delivery service if that was the issue um, we've lowered our prices etc so you know the key thing is not only just to get the customer you know once you have them is actually keep them um, one of the things based in this again is like the email drip campaigns you can set that up where um, you can literally send interval automatic messages to your customer the customers who didn't end up buying um, that were just quotes you can follow up with them customers who had problems you can follow up with them and customers who've purchased you know just try to keep them in the front of the mind and just uh, you know send them periodic um, reminders again these are automated processes um, key thing is you choose what the content is going to be sent to the customer and the system will automate the rest so that's the uh, retention and let's go to opportunities which is the quote um, the CRM system this is very powerful so if you're doing a lot of uh, you know phone calls where people are just trying to get prices and stuff always want to grab that email address grab as much of the information as you can from that client and uh, just literally get in here and uh, track your quotes um, some of you might be familiar with Salesforce or you know our um, leads and stuff and this is a great place to track your leads and we do have a service available um, if you check out under promotion tab on the main menu or go to our um, corporate site or ask your representative um, we do have those features where again like I said anything to try to you know get a couple extra customers and make a few sales so basically this is the overall outlook of our contact module so again Put them in here, find them very easy, send them follow up emails, try to retain them, have a complete history at your fingertips, handle service issues, and uh, track your quotes. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, we're going to just real quickly pause here and answer some questions, and um, we'll be right back in a second.